I'm Lisa Farmer with the Great Lakes Brewing Company. I'm Howard Cohn with the Great Lakes Brewing Company. Well, we're featuring a few of our seasonals and a couple of year-round favorites. Alberta Clipper is the newest beer to our lineup, and it's a porter brewed with bittersweet Belgian chocolate and fresh raspberries. Mm -hmm. We've also got the Conway's Irish Ale, and that's just a traditional straight-up Irish, malty, delicious, sweet finish. Mm. Very low hot profile. Indeed. Got uh, Commodore Perry, which is our uh, stalwart IPA, which we've been brewing for a long time. And Elliot Ness Amber Lager, because we want to remind people that this is a lager town, and lagers have been doing really, really well. We yeah. feel like the pendulum's kind of swinging back from IPAs a little bit, and want to make sure we're offering a wide variety of beers for people to try. Indeed. And then last but not least, one of our well-known beers is Blackout Stout. It was a seasonal that came out in November, but um, holds up really, really well. It's an Imperial Russian stout, so it's not for kids, that's right. for sure. And then at the Quickie Station, we have also have our Dortmunder uh, Gold Lager, which is the first beer we ever brewed 27 years ago. We're Ohio's first craft brewery. Just in my time at Great Lakes, I've been here for 13 years, and we did maybe 30,000 barrels my first year. Um, now we're up to about 170,000 and it's been organic. We don't, we don't add a lot of states to get volume. Our biggest thing that motivates us is quality, clean yes. beer. Um, we, we use obviously really, really good ingredients, which is key, but we are dedicated to freshness and quality. Absolutely. And if we always think that, you know, we always say that each of our beers, especially the year rounds, are great examples of that type of beer. So that Dortmunder Lager is a great example. Same thing with the IPA, the, uh, the Elliott Ness Amber Lager, uh, our Burning River Pale. Um, they're all terrific examples. Terrific, 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 terrific <laughs> examples of that type of beer. What we do a lot of times with our porters and stouts is feature them with chocolate which kind of throws people off because they don't believe in beer and dessert go together. But like a flourless chocolate tort mm. with a blackout stout is absolutely amazing. Sometimes we do surprise pairings like um, carrot cake with Commodore Perry because the beer is spicy and the cake is spicy. So that's what we do a lot is we continue to educate people, not just about the um, beer, but how it goes with food. And like I said, elevating the experience.